Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well and having a really great day so far. This week I tried out the Fast 800 diet and the results just blew my freaking mind. So if you'd like to know more about my experience, grab yourself a drink, subscribe if you haven't already and keep on watching. In this video I am going to be speaking about weight loss and I know that can be a very sensitive topic for some people. If you think this could upset or trigger you in any way then please click off the video now. If you are watching this video you may be considering trying out the Fast 800 for yourself or at least wanting to know a little bit more about it. My intention for making this video is really to share my own experience. I'm not a qualified nutritionist or doctor um, so before trying a new diet for yourself please do your own research and consult with your doctor because in some instances this diet might not be suitable or appropriate for you. To put this into some context, I guess I should tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, I've always struggled with my weight. I've tried and failed at many diets over the years. I did have some success with Slimming World back in 2018 and I actually lost two stone. I didn't get to my goal weight but it was a good amount of weight that I lost and I was able to keep that off for quite a while. But then 2020 happened, lockdown was not kind to me, I was definitely stress eating and I gained back all of that weight and a bit more. I'm sure I'm not on my own with this and to be honest with you I just felt like absolute shit really uncomfortable, I couldn't get into any of my clothes or they were too tight so I was just rocking around in pyjama bottoms or joggers all the time, really unmotivated, I just didn't want to do anything, bloated, lethargic, sleep was terrible and also my PCOS symptoms did get worse. I don't think I've mentioned the fact that I've got PCOS on my channel before um, but I do and I'm sure a lot of women out there can relate to that as well. When I weighed in I was shocked at the results, not just about the weight but the scales that I use also give you other readings as well like body fat percentage, subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, um, your water, um, protein in your body, basically things that you want to know to make sure that you're in a healthy way. Um, but mine were not good and I think I will put a screenshot of them up so you can see where my sort of starting point was. My mum had had a lot of success with the Fast 800 and she told me how fantastic she was feeling, not just because of losing the weight but in herself she felt so much better and that really encouraged me to give this diet a try. I have to admit I certainly had some reservations before starting this plan. I'd heard that it was 800 calories a day and that just sounded like absolute lunacy to me. I was thinking there's no way that I can do this or if I can manage it for a couple of days there's no way I could sustain it long term and a lifestyle change was something that is really important to me but I did just keep thinking about what my mum had said, how good she was feeling, that she'd never felt better. So I tried to have a go at it with an open mind. So the very first thing I did was pick up the Fast 800 book by Dr. Michael Mosley and he's also the creator of the 5-2 diet that was really popular a couple of years ago. I will link any of the books or products that I'm speaking about in the video today in the description box below just in case you want to check them out for yourself later but I read this cover to cover before I started anything. Obviously this book explains everything you need to know about the Fast 800 plan but it also talks about the science and the reasoning behind it which I found really interesting. I will do a dedicated video on the Fast 800 plan covering it in a lot more detail um, but for now I'll give you an overview. The plan has three different phases. Phase one, which is the Fast 800. This is the rapid weight loss stage where you consume 800 calories a day and you do this for between two to 12 weeks depending on how much weight you want to lose. You then move on to phase two, which is the new 5-2 diet. This is also a weight loss phase, but it's a, at a much slower rate than phase one. You continue on the new 5-2 until you got to your goal weight. And then finally, phase three is the maintenance stage. At all of the three stages, you would need to follow a Mediterranean style of eating. And essentially that's going to be lots of healthy fats, proteins and vegetables, and a small amount of carbohydrates. Sugar is also going to be really reduced. Together with the med style of eating, you would also do time-restrictive eating, which is a type of intermittent fasting. 
So this squashed two of my concerns straight away. So firstly, it's not 800 calories a day for the rest of your life. It's 800 calories a day just while you're in the rapid weight loss phase, which is between two to 12 weeks, depending on how you're finding it or how much weight you've got to lose. Secondly, it's not 800 calories of anything you like. You have to follow the Mediterranean style of eating and all of the recipes in the Fast 800 books are nutritionally balanced. I did pick up both of the Fast 800 recipe books and the recipes in here are so nice, really, really tasty. You wouldn't have even known that you were eating food that is part of a diet plan. And I think that does have a lot to do with the Mediterranean style because there's lots of healthy fats. The recipes are quite rich, really full of flavour. Both of these recipe books are really, really good, but the one that I reached for the most was the Fast 800 Easy, and this is the one that I would recommend to you. If you're not a confident cook, the recipes in here don't have too many ingredients, so you're not gonna feel overwhelmed. But secondly, they're really quick and speedy to make. I work full time, and if I work late, I haven't got a lot of time available to prepare meals in the evening. But a lot of the stuff in here that I tried took maybe 15, 20 minutes to make. So this book was an absolute godsend. To give you more of an idea of what you can eat on the rapid weight loss phase, I will share with you a couple of days from my food diary. So on day one, I had 40 grams of chocolate granola. This was a recipe from the Fast 800 Easy book, and I paired that with 40 grams of full fat Greek yogurt. For lunch, I had 100 grams of roast chicken, and I had that with a mixed salad. I didn't bother counting the calories for the salad. I only counted the calories for the chicken. And for dinner that day, I had cardamom chicken, which again is a recipe from the Fast 800 Easy, and I paired that with some mixed green vegetables. On day two for breakfast, I had a mushroom and onion omelette. This was made with two large eggs, and I paired that with some cherry tomatoes. For lunch, I had a ham salad. This was 100 grams of ham, and again, I didn't bother counting the calories for the salad. And finally for dinner, I had pork with mustard and cider vinegar. This was another recipe from the Fast 800 Easy. Really, really tasty. And again, I paired that with some mixed green vegetables. It is surprising how far you can make 800 calorie stretch and that was a really pleasant surprise for me. I'm not gonna bullshit you though, I still was hungry um, just because this was a big change from what I would normally eat. Um, I would say days two, three and four were probably the worst, but I did start to get used to it as the week went on. And I actually found that if I ate three meals in a relatively small time window, so I would eat all of my calories within an eight hour window, this was actually a lot better for me and I found it much easier. I did experience headaches for a few days and apparently this is absolutely normal. Because of the med style of eating, having more protein and fat and low carbohydrate, it does put your body into a mild ketosis. So this is when your body stops using sugar as its main source of energy and switches over to using fat as its source of energy. When this happens, you can experience what's called keto flu and the headaches were a symptom of that. I have heard people mention that they've had a constipation. Thankfully, this is not something that I experienced, you'll be happy to know, but drinking lots of water, making sure that you're hydrated can help with keto flu and with constipation as well. Moving on to the results now, which I guess is what most people would be interested in. And weight-wise, I actually lost 7.2 pounds, which I was absolutely beyond thrilled about. I have tried so many diets you just would not believe and I've never had a result like that in one week. That's more than a pound of weight loss every single day. I also lost 2.1% of my body fat and I also brought down my BMI by 1.3. My body water and also my skeletal muscle actually increased during that time. So this makes me feel better that the weight is coming from the right places and that is the subcutaneous fat and the visceral fat. Subcutaneous fat is the fat that's underneath your skin whereas visceral fat is the fat that is around your vital organs and out of everything this is the reading that concerned me the most. I started with a reading of 20 and I think that the recommendation is about 10 but I did manage to bring this down by a whole point from 20 to 19 just in seven days and I did feel so much better about that. 
In inches, I managed to lose two whole inches off my waist in seven days, which is just absolutely amazing to me. We all know that having a large waist measurement can increase the risk of other health complications in the future. I'm definitely a person that stores a lot of weight on my tummy and around my waist, so this for me was really encouraging. But I also feel so much better in myself. As I mentioned, I did have headaches for a few days, which, you know, were a bit rough, I'm going to be totally honest. But once I got past that point, I just feel like I've got so much more energy. I'm not bloated. I'm sleeping a lot better. I just generally feel so much better in myself. I'm thrilled and absolutely floored by the results, not just by the loss of weight, but also the changes in the other readings as well. I didn't think it was possible to make such an impact in just one week, and I would be really keen to continue on the Fast 800 plan. For the first time, I feel like actually my weight loss goal is achievable, and that's really exciting. As I said earlier, I will link the Fast 800 book, the two recipe books, and also the scales in the description box below. The scales especially are a really good motivator for me because, as I said, it's not just about the physical appearance, but it was a big motivator to see those other readings change in a positive direction as well. I will be posting updates on my Fast 800 and weight loss journey on my channel, so if you don't want to miss out on those, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I would love to have you back. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know by giving this video a like. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.